Are you a weather geek? Do you like a lot of detail in your weather forecasts? Well, this, of course, is the video for you. It's the video we call Weather for Weather Geeks, and it's Monday evening, the 16th or the 13th day, I should say, of October in 2025. And as we kick off a new work week, uh, the week will be kind of divided in half this week. Warm to start, cool to finish, and we've got a big warm-up coming for parts of the uh, the weekend, which is coming our way in five days. But in the meantime, today across the Youngstown area, and this uh, camera, of course, is in Boardman across from Southern Park Mall, we had a, a chilly but nice start to the day, bright and sunny for a lot of the morning. Now, in the afternoon, we did notice more clouds in the sky. We've been kind of on the fringes of an East Coast system that has been producing some lousy weather for parts of the mid-Atlantic states over the last few days. And right on the edges of that cloud shield, that's where we found ourselves for a lot of the afternoon. So we had some clouds for a while, the sky clearing, though, this evening. And we'll have a mostly clear sky for the balance of the night tonight. Now, this East Coast storm, technically a nor'easter, um, a lot of times we associate that term with winter storms, but any storm that rides up the eastern seaboard in this fashion, whether it brings snow or not, it's technically a nor'easter. It's not producing a lot of rain, but it has been producing problems with some coastal flooding and uh, some gusty winds as well. And it's not a very nice evening in places like Boston and Providence and New York City as well. But back here at home, things are pretty quiet. They're going to stay that way for the overnight tonight. Uh, we've only had two cooler than average high temperatures so far in October. We're almost halfway through the month. Today's high was six above the average, 69 officially at the airport this afternoon. Now the kind of the uh, the cadence of temperatures this week will be similar to last week. Last week started warm. We had a big cool down Wednesday into Thursday. We'll have something similar this week with another cold front heading our way during Midweek. In the meantime, this, with the sky clear tonight, if you will be up late tonight, the moon rises a little after midnight, and our uh, waning moon on its way to its new phase before too much longer will be paired with the planet Jupiter overnight tonight. When I say paired, that means they'll be in close proximity to each other. So if you see a bright object up and to the right of the moon, that's actually the planet Jupiter up there overnight tonight. So uh, night owls or early morning risers, be sure and check that out. A little bit of a difference on Tuesday. We won't have the clouds in the afternoon. That East Coast system continues to march east, and so I think it's just bright and sunny throughout Tuesday. Uh, we'll shake off the chill quickly in the morning, and we're looking for about 70 or so in the afternoon on Tuesday. Just a beautiful, beautiful second half of the day. But by Wednesday morning, here's our cold front. Now, this cold front's going to come through pretty silently. Could there be a shower or a sprinkle? I can't 100% rule that out, but it's a small chance. Most of us won't even notice the front has moved through. Except we will have some clouds for a time. I think the afternoon will feature an increase in sunshine, but a decrease in temperature, certainly. Uh, it's going to feel pretty chilly outside by Wednesday evening with high pressure nudging in. We're going to have a crystal clear sky Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We'll do this again Thursday night into Friday morning. And at this time of the year, that means, of course, we'll be talking about frost possibilities. We didn't have a killing freeze anywhere last week, but some local thermometers got down to 32 or 33 on a couple of those cold occasions last week. We're going to have something similar this week. I think Friday will probably be the colder of the two mornings. But both Thursday morning and Friday morning, it'll be cold enough that frost will be possible. Anyone with outside plants, mums, uh, if you run a garden center and you've got a lot of you know stuff outside at this time of the year, you're going to want to bring that stuff in. Um, before Wednesday is through and Thursday, the same thing, because Thursday night into Friday morning looks pretty chilly outside. Now, if uh, we, we talked about this last week, officially at the airport, we didn't get, get down to freezing last week, but if we were to hit 32 uh, this week, and, and I think it's more likely to be Friday morning, it'd be pretty much right on schedule. The 30-year average date of our first freeze of the fall season is October 16th, which would be what, Thursday? Last year, we had our first freeze on October 17th, which is Friday. And again, I think Friday morning could be a little bit colder than Thursday morning, so it's possible. If we were to edge down a degree or two below our current forecast, we'll have the same first freeze date this year as we had last year. But big changes are coming as we head towards the uh, weekend. Uh, the atmosphere, for one of the first times this fall, is going to have a pretty potent area of low pressure. These will become a little more common, of course, as we head deeper into the fall season and towards winter. But... Uh, one of the first ones of these uh, will be on the weather maps by the weekend. We'll be on the warm side of this. Our low is out here Saturday. Warm front up here like this. And it'll actually get kind of a little bit muggy on Saturday, uh, considering the time of the year. We wouldn't think it's muggy at all in the summertime. But for mid-October, a little bit of a humid day, a breezy day Saturday. I think we'll get up into the mid-70s on Saturday. And I think it's, it's likely dry during the daylight hours Saturday. But Saturday night, and then especially on Sunday, pretty good chance for some rain. As uh, we go into Sunday, the uh, cold front marches east, the, the, the drier, cooler push of air runs into that uh, warmer, 
more moist air mass and it'll produce some rain I think at times on Sunday. It's actually an interesting setup for severe weather, probably not locally, but uh, the Storm Prediction Center today with their day six outlook did define an area that they're watching for possible severe weather Saturday into Saturday night. Lower Ohio Valley, mid Mississippi Valley as well. Around here, severe weather doesn't seem that likely to me at all, but on Sunday especially, could there be some rumbles of thunder in the mix? That's going to be a possibility for sure. Again, a pretty dynamic system coming eastward. Now, that system won't have the mother load of cold coming behind it. Yes, we're going to get up to 76 on Saturday. We'll be 10 degrees colder on Sunday, but temperatures next week will be pretty generic for you know, the second half of October. We're talking highs in the lower 60s. And of course, our averages are falling quickly at this time of the year. So uh, that high of 64 on the 21st day of the month, that's four degrees above the average. So, you know, we're, we still don't see the, the kind of, you know, cold front on, you know, on the weather maps just yet that's a huge change that's really going to usher in the first real big cold shot of the season. Don't see that coming, at least in the in the near and medium range, but we'll, we'll dive more into long range ideas later this week on Weather for Weather Geeks. And don't forget my annual winter forecast is coming up in early November. We're gonna target, uh, I believe it's Tuesday, November the 11th for my annual winter forecast. In the meantime, thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Monday evening and have a great rest of your night.